New at 5.30, some people in Rhode Island now joining in the fight against a plan to reroute railroad tracks along the shoreline, protesting today at the Rhode Island State Capitol. Folks in southeastern Connecticut have been speaking out against this plan now for months. And News 8's Tina Detell is covering the shoreline tonight with how people say that plan would affect attractions in Mystic. The proposed bypass would go from Old Saybrook to Kenyon, Rhode Island, which is in the southwest part of that state. Now, the current tracks, which you see behind me in that overpass, will still be used, but new tracks will also be laid for the high speed trains. The bypass, which could be an alternative route for Amtrak's Acela train, is expected to cost between 10 and 15 billion dollars to build, but it could save 20 minutes on the commute from Boston to New York. I think moving forward into the future, I think it's a good idea. I think it'd be good for a lot of people. Um, I mean, personally, it's not going to affect me any. But many others who have packed meetings from Old Lyme to Stonington say it will affect them and their towns. Here's a look at the route proposed by the Federal Railroad Administration, which will largely follow I-95 and would bring the high-speed trains away from the water and right behind Old Mystic Village and Mystic Aquarium. You're talking about having a... A train, um, train running through, that's going to affect everything. It's going to affect the economy. It's going to affect us. These women who work at Fun and Easy in Old Mystic Village may not completely see eye to eye on the bypass, but they agree it could change the atmosphere around here. Aesthetically, I think that could affect things a little bit, but it could be good. Who's going to want to sit outside and watch a train go by? Not Diane Bowman, who says she enjoys the quaintness and quietness of Mystic. That's part of the reason why I come here, because it's like a mini vacation, and you don't want to see that kind of progress around. Right over the state line in westerly Rhode Island, folks are so concerned about this bypass that the town itself chartered a bus to bring protesters to a rally at their state house Wednesday afternoon. In the Pawkatuck section of Stonington, Tina Detell, News 8.